Hey friends, so I actually have a special treat for you. I'm gonna show you how to make these amazing macro-friendly chicken wraps. This is this is like three quarters of one because I just ate both of mine almost. Because I just I just made them and ate them. This recipe might change your life. The absolute least you'll get from this video. Hey, come here. What's the least you'll get from this? They'll get from this video. The absolute least. Um, did you did you spread cheese on a flatbread? Mm-hmm. How to spread cheese on a flatbread? Yeah. Other than that, it's all gold. And the best thing? How to make a bomb sandwich. Oh. I've tasted it before. The best thing you'll get from this is how to make your new favorite food. Plain and simple. Alright guys, what's up? I'm just going to show you what my next meal is. And this is actually a staple. It's been a staple in my diet for like two, two and a half years already. It's actually, it's a, it's a wrap, okay? It's a flat wrap. So, I, I believe in flexible dieting. It fits your macros. If you don't know what that is, I will have another video explaining it. It's basically, you can eat anything you want and fit, fit whatever foods you're craving into your diet and still be making progress towards your goals. In my opinion, it's the most efficient, accurate way to lose weight or gain muscle. But anyways, these flat wraps. I don't know if you ever heard of them before. Amazing macros. The macros on these are one flatbread is 100 calories, two grams of fat, 20 carbs, seven fiber, and eight grams of protein. All right, I'll do a close up here. I know, incredible. So I'm gonna have two of these. I think there's two left here. It comes in like a three pack at Costco. And then also, these bad boys. These are incredible too. Laughing Cow Cheesies are the light versions. They do have regular ones and different flavors, ranging from 35 calories like this one to 50 calories per per wedge. So you just what I do is just spread it on that tortilla wrap. <laughs> it's incredible. Next thing, next thing, you just warm some chicken. So I have some here. I have some chicken left left here. Just gonna warm up in the microwave. So first thing you do is spread. Spread the cheese on while this is warm up in the microwave. Then you carefully rip these apart or or you cut them, line it up. So I have a food scale right here. Zeroing that out. So I'm gonna do approximately six ounces. So I'm just gonna take the chicken off until until I reach six ounces. Six point a bit real accurate today. See it says six point one five right now, and usually I, I wouldn't even care, but I did uh, have a little snack last night. So I'm, I'm eating a little bit less to account for it today. Nothing huge, nothing unhealthy. It's just the way I do things sometimes. So some kicking chicken seasoning here. Pop that off. And then microwave. 45 to 55 seconds, whatever you're feeling, you know. While that's there, I'm gonna spread this on. Don't forget to lick the knife, okay? Always lick the knife. Usually what I'll be doing right now is have headphones on and dance to some music. Which, I can't put music on right now because freaking copyright. Anybody out there make beats? Send me some sweet beats and soundtracks to use and I'll, and I'll shout you out. What up, Nick? Hmm? Come join the cooking squad. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's all spread and done. When it's all spread and done? Get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is the secret ingredient actually. It's called Ivar. It's actually roasted red pepper spread. And yeah, this is what it looks like inside. So actually, I feel bad for you guys because this is homemade. My mom made this. But you can't you can find this at mostly any whole, whole foods. But yeah, my mom makes like 500 of these jars a year because everybody likes these. But yeah, it's, it's roasted red pepper eggplant spread. It's really good. I, I'm actually, uh, my parents are from Croatia. They're immigrants from there, so. Some of the best foods out there is foreign food, let me tell you. Anyways, this tastes amazing. Just just spread a little on, on that on that wrap. What I also do sometimes, you know, those uh, guacamole mini cups that are like 100 calories. I also put that with this. And you don't even have to use a spread, you know. Some people don't like it. And like a lot of times if I don't have this or sometimes I'm just not feeling this, 
I do have, I just put like hot sauce or barbecue sauce on it. And that tastes really good as well. But the last secret ingredient is next, and it is these pickles, let me tell you. So my mom also homemade, made these homemade. My mom's, first of all, my mom is just an incredible person. She's my hero, my role model. And, and you'll get to meet her sooner or later, whenever I visit them. But she also made like 40 or 50 of these bread and butter pickles, and like just to give the people and everything. But these are so good. I usually, mm. So what I usually like to do, I first line the flat wrap up with pickles. Just like that. Beautiful, right? Then when the chicken's all done here. Oh, don't want, don't want to fall. That's happened to me before many times. Mmm, you gotta, you gotta taste it before it's done, right? Mmm, this is my first, besides the coffee and two rice cakes, five hours ago. It's the first food I've eaten all day. I do, when I, when I do go through uh, cuts, I do utilize intermittent fasting most days, just because I like bigger meals and it works for me. I also have a video about that, covering intermittent fasting and just tips in general on how, what you can do when you're dieting to stay full and whatnot, but this is what it should look like when it's all done. Actually, the real secret, another necessary ingredient, Cholula. This is the best sauce to exist. Do you agree? What do you, what do you think this is? This? The uh, green habanero sauce from Mexican restaurants, it's like garlic habanero. I've never it's had like it, favorite. I don't think. I don't go to restaurants, no. Yeah, my favorite. You got the store sell it? Target. Have to try it Triangle. Out. Mexican, the authentic section. It's like from Mexico. That one's from Mexico too, that giant one that I had? Yeah. Yeah, this is... That one's popular. This is the giant one I got. I got this at all these. This is pretty good as well. I didn't know it was popular. I just decided to get it. Really? Yeah. But yeah, Cholula, one of my favorite hot sauces. If you've never had it on Chipotle, try it. It's all said and done. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta be careful here. I got, I'm gonna do this. And when they're all done, they just look like these. You know? Num. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. Tell them. Mmm. So good. Delicioso. You gotta try these guys. Also, I'm bringing the tips for you today, okay? If you've never had one of these, flavor one bars, okay? Remember, have one of these? When you're on a diet, these are all like candy bars. I, I'm, look at that. Goosebumps again. It's really screwed up. Cause I get goosebumps eating sometimes. Sorry for in my mouth with them, but anyways, <laughs> I'm screwed up. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, friends. These taste so good, though. It's incredible. It's just a pro tip, guys. You gotta trust me on this one. And let me know. Let me know what you think. That was absolutely incredible. Try this recipe out as soon as you can. Seriously, we'll thank you later. Also, if you want more content, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. I'm the most active on those. I'll put links on the screen or whatever. But Brian Kovic on Snapchat, Brian Kovic Fitness on Instagram. Also, I have a Facebook page that I'm, I'm starting up, Brian Kovic Fitness as well. And Twitter, just my name again. Twitter's, Twitter's my least favorite. Twitter's Twitter. <laughs> yeah, give me a follow, send me a message. Give this video a thumbs up, share the awesome recipe with somebody. And please hit subscribe, it would really help me out, it would go a long way. And let me know what you think, most importantly. And I want this, I want my comment section to be the most positive community ever. So. It's up to you. It's up to you right now for that to happen. I just want everyone uplifting each other, encouraging. I believe that encouragement is number one. Everybody is capable. But other than that, have a great day or night, wherever you are in the world. Let me know also where you're watching. But yeah, more to come.
Drink some water. 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 At least two of these a day. This is a half gallon. Make sure you drink water. One full gallon.